Hey guys, I'm so sorry. I have such a hard time explaining myself. But right when I was done recording that, the Lord put something on my heart to say. And um, as I was speaking, I said, God wants to restore things. God wants to heal things. And the Holy Spirit just pressed on my heart. Uh, no, God is going to restore everything. God is going to heal everything. God does and he is going to have judgment and um, it is going to happen. So the Lord has put on my heart to say that he wants you to be a part of the restoration, the healing, the blessings, the gifts, the presence and the joy and the eternal life. Because this is going to happen. It's not, oh, um, God wants to do this and he wants to do that. No, God is, he is going to have the wrath of the lamb, the day of the Lord, the judgment, the, um, the righteous judgment on the wicked and the evil, the righteous judgment on the servants of God and the people who have uh, accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior will receive inheritances, gifts, promises, blessings. And God wants you to be a part of his healing, his restoration, his gifts, the joy, the promised land. And he wants to give you all of these things because the judgment is happening and it's happening very, very soon. So out of love, care and concern for you, whoever's watching this, if you want to be saved right now, bow your head and say this prayer with me. Dear Heavenly Father, dear Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I just come before you, Father God, with your son or your daughter, Lord God, and I lift them up to you right now in the name of Jesus. I bind up every evil demonic spirit, and I bind you up, Satan, right now from their life in the name and the blood of Jesus that was given to me, the authority that was given to me by Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I take authority over you. I call out the strong man, and I bind you up from their life, and I rebuke you in the blood of Jesus Christ back to the pit of hell right now, never to return again in Jesus. For it is written, I have given you all authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and all the power over the enemy. And by no means shall anything injure you nor, nor hurt you. So I take authority over you, Satan. I take authority over you on this person's life right now in the name and the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I bind you up and I cast you out in Jesus' name. And Father God, I just come... I come before you, Lord, Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, God, and I lift up this person to you who is watching this, Father God. Lord Jesus, I ask that you send down your holy warring angels, your warrior angels, Lord Jesus, to fight on this person's behalf right now in Jesus' name. I ask that your holy light and your holy spirit overwhelm them right now, God. In Jesus' name I pray. And so, if you're watching this, this is just for you. So, repeat after me. Dear Jesus, I just come before you right now. I believe that I am a sinner. I believe, Lord Jesus, that you shed your blood. You died on the cross for my sins. And on the third day, God rose you from the grave. Dear Jesus, I'm sorry for the sins I have committed. I ask, Lord, that you would cleanse me and wash me in your blood. Make me holy and righteous in the sight of God. I thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for my sins. I believe that you are the Son of God. And I ask that you would come into my heart. I open my heart to you. And I ask that you would be my Lord and my Savior. I surrender my life to you, Jesus. I repent of my sins. I'm sorry for my sins, Jesus. Please guide me and lead me into the path of righteousness. Thank you, Jesus, for shedding your blood for me. And dear Jesus, 
I just come before you and I pray for everyone who has ever hurt me. All the trauma, all the pain, all the hurt, all the anger, all of the abuse, each and every person who has ever wronged me and who has afflicted pain on me, I lift them up to you right now in the name of Jesus. And I ask God that you would remove them from my heart. I lay them down at the foot of your cross. All the unforgivenesses I give to you, dear Jesus. I ask that you remove them from my heart. I ask God that you would place it in my heart to forgive everyone who has ever hurt me. I ask that you set me free today, Jesus. That you loose all of the chains that has kept me feeling hurt, broken, pain, and traumatized. I ask, Jesus, that you would remove those from me now, God. And I lay all of those people who have hurt me at the foot of your cross. Jesus, you have forgiven me of all of my sins. So I ask that you place it in my heart to forgive everyone who has ever wronged me. And I ask that you give me joy and that you give me peace and that you put it in my heart to love others. And I pray for everyone who ever hurt me, Jesus. I pray, God, that they would repent of their sins. I pray that they would come to the foot of your cross and ask for forgiveness. And I pray, Jesus, that they can be healed from all of their pain too, Jesus. Father God, it's a cycle, Lord Jesus, and I come before you and I ask that you would break that cycle. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Jesus, and I plead the blood of Jesus over everyone who ever hurt me and over myself. It says in your word, you were whipped and crushed for our transgressions, and by your stripes we have been healed. So today we claim healing. We claim freedom in Jesus' name. I give you all the people who hurt me, Lord. I give them to you and I lay them at the foot of your cross, Jesus. And I ask for healing. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So if you said that prayer and you invited Jesus Christ into your heart, I want to welcome you into the kingdom of light, the kingdom of God. All the angels are rejoicing right now and everyone is so happy for you for making this decision. So I encourage you to get a holy Bible and start reading your Bible and more than anything, just start praying. Just pray, pray, pray as much as you can. Pray to Jesus because prayer is powerful. And um, I just want to let you know that you are beautiful, you are worthy, you are, um, God loves you so much, and he is so proud of you right now. He is so proud of this decision that you have made. And Father God, I just come before you, Lord God, and I ask right now, Jesus, that you would baptize this person in your Holy Spirit, oh God. It says in your word that the that you answer our prayers. It says, if we pray according to your will, O God, we can ask for anything and it will be done. All we need is faith as a mustard seed, O Jesus. So I come to you with faith as a mustard seed, Lord. And I, I know and I believe that whoever's watching this, this is just for them, God. That you will lead who you want to lead to this video, O Jesus. And they will receive you right now as their Lord and Savior. They will be baptized in the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. So I just, I speak life on you. I speak healing on you. I speak the blood of Jesus over you. And um, I welcome you into the family. And um, 